I was basically studying uh, Jack Valenti and uh, Lyndon Johnson, who I worked for, and the situation regarding the transition of power from the tragic loss of JFK and his Catholic cadre moving out and sort of the so-called Texas Mafia moving in, as they were called, with LBJ and Jack Valenti being from Houston, and um, that whole power struggle there. The whole, what was happening inside of Jackie's mind, when I read the script, it was an eye-opener. I didn't realize what was going on with her because she's just such an iconic figure. All I knew is what everybody knows, is the image of her, the pill pillbox hat and the, the pink uh, dress and the pink uh, LBJ being sworn in next to her on the plane and all of these iconic moments. And um, I didn't realize anything about the actual human being, which is what we learn in this movie. Well, I, it's right. I'm, it's true. I'm not. I'm not American. So I, I just connect through her emotions, through her life, to, to this story of this woman that was just facing all this adversity, and was able to put this country together, be somehow the mother of this country when they, when you guys lost a father, and and I think it's, it's an incredible human story, and somehow it's very simple as well. Uh, it's a universal language of humanity, I guess. Well, I discovered many things, but the main one is that I discovered that I was never going to be able to really understand her. And that's what I think is interesting, uh, because it's someone so mysterious, so enigmatic, and with such an inner power and love for what she's doing, that I just focus on her sensibility. People sometimes stay on the, on the layer of fashion and you know, style that she was at, you know. But um, I think she's a lot more sophisticated, educated, culture, and, and sort of with a political smell that very few people had. So, so I thought it was interesting.